how to use the practice test two-way integration with JIRA. Run your test. When you encounter an issue, click the Fail an Issue icon. Choose the JIRA project you want to report the issue to. You will see all the test data already pre-entered, including the failed steps actual results. You may add more details to the issue. If you have required fields in JIRA, they will appear at the bottom of the modal box. Press Create the issue in JIRA. After creating the issue, the plugin will keep the issue and test step synchronized. Changes to JIRA ticket's name, description, or status will be updated in PractiTest. In case you are running a test and you want to fail it and link to an existing JIRA ticket, just press Link Existing Issue and add the ticket's ID. You can link to more than one issue at a time using commas between the issue's IDs. This link will get you to the associated practice test issue, where you will find the link to the JIRA issue. Importing and synchronizing JIRA tickets as practice test issues. In practice test, you can also import and sync existing JIRA tickets to practice test issues. Click on the down arrow next to the new issue button and select sync a new issue from JIRA option. You have two options for syncing new JIRA tickets. One, import by IDs. Paste the ID of your JIRA ticket. You can sync issues in bulk separated by commas. The other option is to import by JIRA filters. Choose the name of the relevant JIRA filter you want to import. The drop-down list of the filters that you see in the modal box displays filters that were either created by you or starred by you. Press Import. Tickets from projects that are not integrated with PractiTest will not be imported. Importing and synchronizing JIRA tickets as re PractiTest requirements. There are three ways to import JIRA tickets as requirements to PractiTest. In PractiTest, click on the down arrow next to the New Requirement button and select Sync a new requirement from JIRA. In the Requirements Import Modal box, choose Import by Tickets ID. You can import either an individual ticket or multiple tickets separated by commas. The requirement was created and is automatically synced to the JIRA ticket. You can also import by choosing JIRA filter name where you will see a list of filters that were either created by you or starred by you. Choose the name of the relevant JIRA filter you want to import and press Import. The third way to import a JIRA ticket to PractiTest as a requirement is from within JIRA software. This way, you will also create a new test to cover this requirement within PractiTest from your JIRA ticket. Go to your JIRA ticket. Press on PractiTest linked tests on the right-hand side of the ticket and then Press the Add Test option. Choose the project you want to create the test in and press OK. You will be redirected to a newly created test that will have the ticket's information. This test will behave as a regular test and you can add steps to it and so on. In the Traceability tab of the test, you can find the new requirement that was automatically created with the test, with the ticket's name and link together. The requirement will also appear under the Requirements module. Linking existing requirements in PractiTest to JIRA issues. To link an existing requirement to a JIRA ticket, go to the requirement in PractiTest, click on the Actions button in the upper right corner, and then Link to JIRA issue. Enter the JIRA issue key. You can choose to unlink or link back any requirement at any point. Live updated information from PractiTest is constantly streaming to JIRA and back. Inside your JIRA ticket, you can see PractiTest tests that are associated with this JIRA ticket and their status, and test runs that are linked to your JIRA ticket and their status. For more tutorials and helpful videos, go to www.youtube.com slash or visit our website.